Hello, today I'm going to be filming what I got for Christmas 2020. Um, I just think this is such a classic video on YouTube. I know like everyone is filming these at the moment, so thank you if you're watching my one. But yep, I'm just going to go through everything I've got. I've also a few things. One, this is mainly presents from like my mum and my grandparents. Like the rest of my stuff, obviously I haven't seen most of my family this year. So it's a bit less than normal, but to be honest, I'm just happy that like all my family are safe and stuff in these times. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to get started. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. And let's go. <music> First thing, I'm going to start off with what I'm wearing. This came from my mum. So it's like a two-piece uh, loungewear set. I might have to stand up. If you can see, it's like it's like high-waisted trousers. And they're like a little crop top. It's like cuffed at the bottom. Sorry, this is really bad angles. Um, yeah, this is honestly so comfy. I wore this yesterday, actually, on Christmas Day. It's Boxing Day when I'm filming this. Um, but yes, this is the, like, well, too far. I actually picked this out myself because mum was like, Kira, I like what you know. And I'm like, mum, I don't really care about presents. Like... I feel like when you get to the age of like 20, like after your teenagers, you don't really care that much about presents, but anyway, I'm very happy I've got this, so yeah, it's really cute. And also this top, I would wear this out, like it doesn't really feel like a loungewear top. But yeah, <laughs> so the next thing, also from my mum, um, I'm not sure where it's from, but it says Honey Pot Cottage, I think that's the name of the company, Hot Chocolate Bombs. So it's basically, it looks like a cupcake, with like little Maltese on the top, but you just basically melt this chocolate bomb in like hot milk and makes like a really nice hot chocolate so I'm excited to try that out and then to go with that she got me these um buttermilk rusks so you can like dip it in your hot chocolate tea coffee that kind of thing so yes all chocolated out and I've also got some milk chocolate coins downstairs as well but they're really cool because all the different coins have different currency on them so me and my brother like trying to work out what each currency was so that was quite fun yesterday <laughs> next little bit is um a pair of earrings because i said to mum i literally wear the same earrings all the time like i have a little silver hoop which i just wear to death which i love but like i need more earrings so just got these ones which are like little hearts and um, they're sterling silver as well which is really good um so yeah i know i wear those a lot i also asked for some like blue light glasses obviously where i'm spending like 90 percent of my time on my laptop at the moment, wrote my dissertation. I thought I need some glasses which reflect the light. So these are from a place called Blue Vision. Um, I don't know how much they were, obviously, but they just got like a slight pink tinge to them. Um, so yeah, so they're like on that you can see they're really reflecting the blue light. But yeah, I really like them. As I said they're pretty plain and simple, but they do the job. Um, so yeah, it'll be interesting to see if I feel less tired when I wear these because. I don't really get headaches when I'm on screens, but if I'm on my laptop all day, I feel just really like fatigued after. So it'll sit, I'll be interested to see if that makes a difference. Um, this is just like a little jokey present. Like in our stockings, we always get like little funny things, and it was like dress up your hair. Um, so it came with baubles, tinsels, lights, and like little clips. And honestly, the fairy lights in here are so bright. Like <laughs> I'll take them out. It just looks like that. We actually forgot to use yesterday, but um, yeah. If I take the lights out, I'll definitely use these lights somewhere. Maybe not in my hair when it's not Christmas, but. <laughs> Um, look how bright those are my goodness <laughs> you can see they're all different colours they're like pink and green and stuff um, but yeah I'm not sure where this is from either um, Fizz Creations I think it says I don't know it's quite a cute idea I think it's maybe you've got kids or something I don't know but yeah <laughs> something else from my mum as well was obviously a Harry Styles calendar like I think I was quite sad but I think this was like one of my favourite presents <laughs> like um yeah I just love this man too much and he probably will never know about it so that's great <laughs> the story of my life <laughs> um okay so from my friend Elmo I got a little notebook and a pen so this is from Accessorize it says bright ideas on the front of it I don't even see that because it's like in really it's like embossed it's just a little lined notepad and she was like, it'll be really good for like, your social media or like, your internship or something. Um, so yeah, it's just got, like, got a little gold pen attached to it. And then she also bought me this pen because she bought one of my other friends a present as well. And apparently that cost more money. So she's like, I need to make money up. So she got me this little pen with like a turkey on top of it, which just made me laugh so much. Like, does this remind anyone else of the, that episode of Friends where Monica literally has like a turkey on her head? I don't know why it just really reminds me of that. Um, so yeah, thank you Elmo for that. Um, also, my friends and I never really do presents at Christmas because like one, most of us are students, well, literally I'm the only student left now, but <laughs> we're like students, we just like going out to the pub and stuff, so we don't really do presents, but Elmo was very kind to get me a present. I then have quite a few books, so I'm just gonna go through these, you've probably heard of most of them. So the first one is The Flat Share by Beth O'Leary. I've seen like everyone rave about this on Instagram, so I was like, you know, I'm running low on books, I've only got three left on my shelf I haven't read, so 
I basically gave my mum a whole Amazon wish list of like books. So yeah. So yeah, I've got the flat share from Beth O'Leary. This is going to hurt by Adam K. It's about it's like the diary of like a young doctor, which seems really interesting. It says Book of the Year from the National Book Awards. It must be quite good. <laughs> and also got How to Break Up with Fast Fashion: A Guilt-Free Guide to Changing Your the Way You Shop for Good by Lauren Bravo. Um, the like in the past sort of six months or so, I've definitely bought a lot less fast fashion, but I don't really know much about it. Um, so this is a hardback as well. Apparently it's quite expensive, but. Um, yeah, I'm really excited to read this because I don't, I do want to get better at like buying sort of better source clothes. So yeah, I'm excited to read that one. The last two are from Dolly Alderton. <clears throat> and the first one is Everything I Know About Love. I've heard very mixed reviews about this, but it does seem like my sort of book. Like I've really loved the Unexpected Joy Me single. So yeah, I'll let you know if I like this one. And the next one is like her newest one. It's called Ghosts, which is like a fiction book. This is like more non-fiction, I think, sort of self-help. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited to read both of those. I've got two sort of active wear pieces. These I asked for because I've literally got no long sleeved, or I've got a couple of like long sleeve tops, but most of them are cropped. So I wanted like just like full body, not full body, but like full like length um, running tops. So the first one is from Tala. So it's just the grey, it's like the grey skin lux range. And what I like about this is it's got like a hole here so you can put your hands through it so your hands don't get cold. And then it just says Tala on the back. I do have the matching um, leggings and sports bra for this, but I hadn't bought the top yet, so I was like, Mum, can you please buy me it? So actually, I think I think my mum bought this, my grandparents had given her the money for it, if you know what I mean. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm ex I'll just do trial clips with them as well. Right, this is a look. So this is the trousers, so if I just put them all the way up. So they, they are very high-waisted, and bear in mind I'm like 5'10". So back here, you can see, like, they're all cuffed at the bottom, which I absolutely love. Yeah, this is a taller top, I've got to say, this is a size small, um, so it's really nice and long on the arms. Um, and then if I just, like, bend this over, so it kind of cuts just above my belly, or, like, maybe on my belly button. Um, but I feel like if you're wearing a high-waisted um, legging, it'll be fine. Um, so yeah, it just looks like this in the front. This is literally the first time I'm trying it on. I do have, like, a normal bra on it, because I'm not, I'm just coming from, from a run. And then on the back, it should say taller. <laughs> Obviously, I can't see right now. But yeah, really, really nice. Really like that one. Last thing again from Tala is the burgundy full length Aster top. Um, so it's got like a zip at the front and I think it'll look really nice like black legging. Burgundy red, like longer line um, Aster top. Obviously, as I said, I think if you're wearing like high waisted leggings, it would look a lot nicer. Um, but the arms again, nice long. They don't cover your hands, but it doesn't bother me that much. And then the Tala branding is like here. I don't think you can see that. Um, but yeah, it is quite like a snug fit, so maybe if you're like in between sizes, I'd say size up. I also want to say as well, my dad did get me a six month glossy box like subscription thing, so I'm really excited to see what comes in that. Because I feel like every blogger like has glossy box, I've never tried it in my life. Um, so yeah, that's like one present I know for sure, but I know it's got like a cute few other bits for me. But I will see, you know, when we can actually see our family again, <laughs> um, what I've got from him. And as I said, my grandparents is like another person I need to get a few more presents from. Um, but yeah, what I've got so far, I'm super grateful for. I'm really sure you can see my bra there, but <laughs> this bra is just such a tip. Um, but yeah, let's go back to the video. Presents, but to be honest, I'm, as I said, I didn't really ask for any of these years, so I wasn't really expecting much, but I'm very, very happy with all my little presents, and most of it is just like useful things, which I really appreciate. So yes, thank you very much if you watched this video. I hope you had an amazing Christmas. I know it definitely was different to normal, like for me personally. It was the first Christmas I hadn't spent with my grandparents before, or I didn't see my dad on Christmas Eve or anything, so... Yep, I'm literally in tier 4 now, so <laughs> I'm going to be stuck in this room quite a lot, which is so I hope you don't mind. Um, but yep, I've got lots of exciting things coming in January, so yeah, please like and subscribe if you want to see more university stuff, and I will see you soon. Bye!